In this video, I'll be converting my previous home automation project which was working on local area network only to be work over internet from anywhere in this world. So let's get started. So this is the code which I have taken from episode 2 of my home automation series. So in case you want to make your own home automation system from scratch, I will recommend you to watch that series of 5 episodes. Its link is in the description. So here in the code, I have modified it to get connected with my router. Okay, So I will enter the SID name and password of my router and let's just hit the upload button. So as you can see, the device got successfully connected with the Wi-Fi router and it even got its own local IP address. Let's just copy this local IP address and request it from my web browser. Here as you can see, I'm getting an HTML page for controlling two LEDs so I can just turn on and off both the LEDs with the respective buttons. But I will only be able to control those appliances if my phone or laptop is connected with the same Wi-Fi network on which the ESP32 board is connected. Now let's just do some modification and make this project to be controlled over internet. For that, you have to perform a couple of steps on your Windows or Mac or Linux based computer. Currently, I'm using my Raspberry Pi 4B board for this project. So here are the steps to be performed. So first, you need to go to one website called Angrock or maybe Angrock, whatever. Here, you need to make an account and after that, log into that account. After you log into your account, you need to download a file according to your system. In my case, as I'm using the Raspberry Pi board, I will download this Linux ARM version. After that, open up the terminal. Now go to the folder where you have downloaded this file. In my case, the file is in downloads folder. Now enter this command to unzip that file. After that, you have to enter this command which will store your unique API key into your system. So that's it. This was all about the configuration which you can perform within 2 minutes. So that was the clip from my previous video which was basically getting started with Angrock and well I also discussed many things around it. So I'll recommend you to watch that full video out in case you don't want to miss out anything. Its link is also in the description. Okay, so now you are only one step away from making this project to control over internet. Now let's just see what that remaining step is. So first of all, you need to copy this local IP address assigned to your board. After that, go back to your computer where you have installed the Angrock service. Okay, so inside the terminal, you have to write this command and paste that local IP address here. That's it. Now just press enter. Okay, so we are done with our project. Now we can access our project over internet using this link. Let me just copy it. I'll go back to my web browser. First of all, I will disconnect my computer from that Wi-Fi router and connect it with my iPhone. Okay, let's just request that link here. Okay, so as you can see, I got the same web page here which we got previously. And from here as well, I am able to control the bulbs attached to the ESP32 board, but this time it's over internet. Isn't this a simple but super project to make? So do make and share the project which you can convert from LAN to WAN using this technique. And don't forget to add the hashtag LAN to WAN when you are publishing that video on your social media handles. As I'll be sharing all those projects with this hashtag on my social media handles. Well, I do have one more project which I want to convert from LAN to WAN. What about making our own wireless live streaming camera over internet? Now that's an actual CCT camera, isn't it? So just stay tuned, like this video, subscribe my channel if you haven't and now just wait for my next video. Until the next explore, learn, share with me, Techie SMS.